This is my favorite go-to dessert, lemon curd. You can make a lemon curd tart, but the easiest thing to make is just straight up lemon curd. And if you got some berries, perfect. A little ice cream on there, amazing. A little crushed graham cracker or nuts, wham bam, green eggs and ham, Sam. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna start with macerating some strawberries today. Let me just show you how I cut them up. Just gonna clean off the top. I washed them already. And then I'm gonna cut them into sixth or quarters, depending on the size. Oh yeah, I decided to cut it the most awkward way possible by putting the bowl on the cutting board. Uh, I do not recommend this. This will make your life a little bit harder, but I did it for the gram, for the camera, for the YouTube, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we'll see how this goes. So once I get them all cut, I'll show you the rest. Okay, so I'm going to put about a tablespoon and a half or so of sugar on the amount of strawberries that I have. And then I'm going to put a little bit of lemon zest, a little fresh lemon zest with a microplane. If you don't have one of these, you can use a, a zester, but I recommend this. And then uh, we're going to top it up with a little bit of triple sec. You can use Grand Marnier, Cointreau, you can even use peach snaps. I love that. But you give it a little mix and you let it sit for about an hour or so and then you can go underway. Here, we'll start the lemon curd now. So uh, it's about two lemons for this recipe, which will give you about 85 mils of lemon juice. So if you don't have one of these juicers, uh, you can use a reamer, which is similar to this, or you can use a fork actually and just do it over a strainer. So I'm just juicing these two lemons here. Okay, and then I like to strain it, even though it's not necessary at this point, but I just like to do it to make sure I have enough juice and not just a bunch of pulp going on in there. So you need close to, uh, like I said, 84 mils. It's about a third of a cup. And uh, we'll also need two egg yolks as well as two whole eggs. So here we go. Just uh, send that up for us here so I can show you how to make this thing. I'm going to put the amounts in the, of the recipe in the description below just so everyone knows where everything is. So at this point, I like to give it a little mix. I feel like the egg mix is better when it's by itself first before I add any of the other ingredients to it. So I give it a little whiskey whiskey. And then here we go. We add the sugar, which is about 65 grams. So we get that little mix in there. 65 grams, that equals about a third of a cup as well. And then here we go with the with the lemon juice. Give it a little mixy mix. And then we're gonna take it over to a bainery that I like to have around medium-ish heat, just a little over medium. We here, this is the tricky part. This is where people can mess it up. You just can overcook the eggs if you uh, let it touch the heat too much. So you have to keep on mixing it constantly. Make sure you get all the surface that's touching the steam. And as you need, you can remove it from the heat and uh, give it a little whisk, make sure that everything's good and then return it back to the heat so that in that way you won't overcook and have chunks of egg in there. You gotta do what you gotta do. Here we go, give it a little mix and mixy. As you can see, it starts to thicken, it gets frothy. It's like making a sabayon pretty, pretty much. So it is gonna get lightened up as it comes to the thickness or gets cooked to the, the amount that it should. It will start to collapse, which is, I mean, it's good. That's what we want, we don't want it too airy. So it's a nice creamy texture. And then at this point, I like to add some room temperature butter in there. It's about uh, 60 mils, which is about two ounces, which is a quarter cup. So I don't know how you want to measure it. It's all those things. So I get a little mix. And then after I mix it up, I like to actually hit it with another thing, which is an immersion blender. This is not the, the best one. I've had this for over 10 years. It's, it's doing the job well, it still works. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? And then I strain it over an ice bowl here. Almost had a boo-boo, but it didn't, luckily. So I pass it through the strainer, make sure that I get everything out, any any chunks of the bits of the egg or shell or whatever, whatever you have.
have. And at this point, I just have it over a double, over an ice bowl actually, so I can chill it to where it needs to be. And then uh, we can go from there. So here, I'm gonna show you the graham cracker crumb very easy. You just get some graham crackers in a Ziploc bag, and then I'm gonna hit it with a meat mallet or meat tenderizer or whatever you like to call it. I don't like to make it a powder. I like to get have it like irregular shapes. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Here we go. Okay, let me plate this dish up. A little bit of the graham cracker crumbs. And then I'm going to follow that with some of the macerated strawberries. And after I get the strawberries in there with a little bit of the extra syrup, I'm going to add some uh, fresh raspberries. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. And a little bit of a scoop of ice cream, if I can manage that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that scoop. Just your regular vanilla ice cream, nothing special. And here we go with the gooey, ooey, gooey lemon curd. It's really nice. I like it chilled. It's a little bit thicker that way. If you left it and didn't give it a mix, it'll get, it'll set even more than what I had it right there. Here, I just topped it up with a little extra berries. I know I didn't make it look extra soigné and chefy, but. Uh... And if you guys love this dessert, let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Let me know what you'd like me to make next time. Just let me know. Let's do this.